What is going on everyone and welcome guys to a brand new Clash of Clans video on the channel guys It's Clasher Mike back at it again with another one I am so excited because today guys we have some brand new events going on in Clash of Clans Let's go take a look here for a second So guys we have the Metal Militia this is going to be using P.E.K.K.A. Troops, and you're going to be receiving a Builder Potion as well if you use two P.E.K.K.A. Troops, and you're able to win some battles. So I'll also show you guys, because I'm going to be working on actually completing this event, I only have three Builder Potions. Guys, I really want to get to the five Builder Potions. I need to start using those the moment that I get to Town Hall level 12. Builder Potions are going to be the best friend that I have. As well guys, we are going to hopefully complete this Bullseye Challenge before the end of today. 16 and a half hours, well technically 17 hours guys until it's over. I've already completed 6 of these. I need to complete one more. And guys, I'm also going to probably start working on this, the Party Wizard and He's Back Challenge. I need to start working on this right away, but I also wanted to show you guys, so basically my troop setup has got to change. I'll show you guys why. So I have two Electro Dragons, two Baby Dragons, five Pekkas, seven Party Wizards. I need to make that 13, six Wall Breakers, one Super Archer, and three Regular Archers. So I also wanted to show you guys, because I did actually start on some new stuff last night, I started on the cannon over here. This is going to be upgraded to level 10 today as well guys. I also did start on this gold mine over here last night. So guys, as of this point, basically because all of the gold mines are going to be upgraded, the only things we have to worry about upgrading are going to be the archer tower over here, a level 8 archer tower, our grand warden, our barbarian king, and our cannon. Now the cannon, like I said guys, is currently in the middle of being upgraded, so I don't really care too much about that. I think my next upgrade is going to actually probably be the Archer Tower. I think I'm gonna then follow it up with the Barbarian King. I'm almost at 150,000 Dark Elixir, but guys, I'm gonna reach that in today's video. So let's hop right into a match and I'll see you guys when I'm there. Alrighty guys, coming across this base, I think this is going to be a little bit too easy for me. And I know, you guys are probably going to be like, what do you mean, too easy? Well guys, there are no walls basically protecting any of this, and it's free loot practically. Now it's not a lot of loot, but it is free loot and a free 3 star. So guys, that's right, we're going to be going for it. You already know. So we're going to start off here, we're just going to go straight for it. Going right for both of these Inferno Towers with our P.E.K.K.A.s guys. Just going right for it, take them both out, bada bing, bada boom. We're then going to use a couple of these Party Wizards. We're going to heal up these P.E.K.K.A.s in just a moment here. We're going to rage that one up there. We're going to rage him up, rage him up. As well, we're going to put down that right there. We're going to then put down a Super Archer, followed up by a couple regular Archers. Guys, we really need to use our Grand Warden ability right here. Alrighty guys, as well Barbarian King and Archer Queen are going to go in, have to take out those air defenses right away. That's right guys, just get them both down, get them out, bada bing bada boom. Alrighty guys, let's go for it, let's go for it. These wall breakers should distract a couple of those Archer Towers pretty quickly there hopefully. Yep, there we go guys, there we go. Look at that, all we have is a Tesla somehow over here and our Archer Queen. Well, their Archer Queen technically. Surprised they didn't actually take out this Tesla, but it's alright guys. So we're about to get the two star, there we go guys, two star. Wow, they put all of those mines right in one spot. Sheesh. Come on guys, come on, let's take them out, let's take them out. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy guys. This is a quick and easy match, wow, 100%. I believe it was a Town Hall 11 if I'm not mistaken, but it was a very, very easy base. So we did of course get another thing completed. We got done with the daily challenge. We of course are so close to getting this guys. We are practically done for the month. All we need is to destroy one more Eagle Artillery, which we might actually be able to get in our next match. So we do have the same exact setup again. We're going to of course change it up here though. Let's change it on cam guys. So I'm gonna do two P.E.K.K.A.s, two Electro Dragons, 13 Party Wizards. We're then going to follow it up probably with two more P.E.K.K.A.s guys, two Baby Dragons, one Super Archer, and a bunch of regular archers. That's right guys, completely changing up the setup. 
but it should hopefully be able to get me everything I need for these events. So I do have to get three more bullseyes with the super archer and we're going to get our resource potion. That's going to be done today like I said, but I really really do want this rune of elixir. Guys, I don't have one yet and I really really could use one especially for that Town Hall 12 upgrade and getting all these walls upgraded. That's going to play a big big part in that. But for now guys, let's hop right into another match and I'll see you all when I'm there. I feel like we always get these super super good loot bases very very randomly but I am definitely not going to complain. So we need to of course do this strategically because I need to spread out my peckers enough to do a good amount of damage around this base. I'm going to put two over here on the side, one down at the bottom, spreading out a couple of these guys, the Electro Dragons. As well, we're going to put our one Super Archer. We're gonna put a couple of the regular Archers around the map, two Party Wizards up at the top here. We're then going to follow it up along the bottom because this is where we probably should be attacking. And we're just going to put down all of our troops down here at the bottom, hoping to get into this center area right here. Pop that right there, guys. Follow it up. And a heal spell. We're going to free spell this in another second. There we go. Free spell, guys. No, they were not able to take it out, though. No. It's all right, guys. It's all right. Our Electro Dragon is almost out of range. No, he's not out of range, though. Darn, darn, darn. But guys, we did still do a pretty good amount of damage for this base. Got a pretty solid amount of loot as well. Technically guys, we got a million total loot. A little over a million, but we did get the Dark Elixir like we wanted. We are now over 150,000 of that. Great guys, great. We didn't of course find a base with an Eagle Artillery, but that's all right. Let's go see what's going on over here with the daily deals. We have a Training Potion. Rune of Gold and Resource Potion. I don't need any of those. I don't want any of those. So I don't really care too much. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm actually going to collect my elixir because this builder right here is going to be done very, very soon. Eight and a half hours. And what I really want to get working on immediately is the Barbarian King and then the Grand Warden. That's right, guys. I really, really want to work on the Grand Warden, getting him upgraded. He's such a low level right now. He's only level 14. I have a level 45 Barbarian king and a level 50 archer queen she is maxed right now guys she is maxed so i don't care too much about her but the barbarian king i really want to max out every single town hall he just gets better and better as does she but the grand warden can do a lot more damage and be a lot more help but guys i am gonna call the video right there so i hope you all did enjoy and if you did please be sure to smash that like button guys we are so close to finishing all the upgrades on our town hall 11 base we have five and a half days basically six days left until the town hall is level 12 and we can immediately get started on our next upgrades guys i'm so excited and if you guys did enjoy today's video please be sure to smash that like button as always subscribe if you are new to the channel i love you all have a good one later peace